All right, so in that last tutorial, I was talking about fire start and end delays, but mainly how those uh, affect action layers to get more consistent clicks. I just wanted to touch upon something else that I was fiddling around with. This is a grip. I was putting together a profile for this, and uh, this one, there's a jump. You can see, like, the car lowers down and then pops up. It's like you're holding... You can see I'm holding A. Like a quick... Quick press does nothing. You have to load your springs and then you jump. So I was thinking about that fire end delay. Like, wait a minute. I could make that... Just instead of having to be a hold... I was fiddling with that on the right grip. So if I just click the right grip... Boom. Automatic jump. I'm not holding it. I'm just clicking it. He loads it. Hey. Easy, buddy. You keep on racing. I'm trying to explain some stuff. Yeah, I push it. You can see he load, it loads and then goes. So what... Really, actually quite simple. So I just made that a loaded jump. So on a regular press, it's just just A, but then I gave it a fire end delay. You know, I had to experiment with that a little bit, fiddle around with the timing of it. But then I also put a long press could be... So a long press is if I just want to load it the way it normally is so I can let go whenever I need to. And that's really... that's it. <laughs> I just wanted to touch upon that because I was playing around last night with this profile and was pretty giddy when I figured that out because <laughs> it works very well so I just ooh, ooh. so then um just another another thing too not so much relating to that but just another little tip that I was I kind of came across while making this profile was so boost is a whole you hold Y to be a boost. I originally just had that on a full full pull of the trigger, but I didn't really like having to hold the trigger in all the way. So I gave it an action layer. You know, so you, you full pull, you just have to do a regular press full pull. It's going to go to the boost. On the boost action layer. I have, you know, the Y button and the right trigger on a regular press, so you can let go of the full pull, and then you're in boost. And then a release press takes you back out. But what I found was happening was I was getting stuck in this full, in the um, boost action layer. Like when I didn't necessarily want to still be in it, because I'd have to let go of that trigger all the way, or push brake, or, you know, something else... But what I did, this is just um, just a little thing to let me know that I'm in this boost. I just made an empty binding and then made it a turbo with a high haptic. So when I'm in the boost, like I'm going, I'm boosting, I'm feeling a thunk, 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 just so I know I'm still in that so then I can let go of the gas or brake a little bit. And it's just enough to you know, give me some feedback so I know you know, so I know that I was uh, still in that boost action layer. So there's two little tips for you. Some additional fire end delay advice and what's the other one? Uh extra notification for when you're in a... Oh, you bastard. For when you're in an action layer. You know, just change up the haptics to let you know. It doesn't have to be a turbo, like, you could, uh, remove haptics or just change the haptics on the left pad for, like, movement in a first-person shooter. Ooh! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm not... 
Yeah, first time on this map. Not familiar with it. But yeah, I really had just started, uh... Let's slow down. Just started digging into this game. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share that little tip with uh, the fire end delay, because it's... That works pretty well. So anything where it's a, a hold, you can just make it a regular press, but add a long fire end delay. And then to the game, it's going to be like you're still holding that. And then for the action layer, you know, for my boost, I just put on a turbo so I know that I'm in there, just giving me some feedback. So, that's it. 